President Barack Obama, under pressure to spur job growth, said on Saturday two solar energy companies will get nearly two billion in U.S. loan guarantees to create as many as 5,000 green jobs. At the same time, oil production is among the most heavily subsidized businesses, with tax breaks available at virtually every stage of the exploration and extraction process. The total electricity production in the USA is 3,992 billion kilowatt hours, 44.9% coal, 23.4% natural gas, 20.3% nuclear, 6.9% hydro, 3.6% renewables, and 1% petroleum. If you do the math, this is a major boondoggle with the taxpayers' money, which would far better be spent on other sources more technologically and economically sound. The devil is in the details. In 2007, summer demand for electricity was 783 gigawatts and 640 gigawatts for the winter. By the year 2017, NERC projects summer consumption to be 925 gigawatts for summer and 756 gigawatts for winter. At 7 acres per megawatt, it would take 7 billion acres of solar panels. They would require transmission system requirements with I2R losses, which would be unsustainable. Renewables make up approximately 4% of our total generation and are important. However, they cannot replace the balance of generation. Large generation facilities with minimal transmission systems is the key. This money should be spent on Tomac research for fusion development. The Tomac is one of several types of magnetic confinement devices and is one of the most researched candidates for producing controlled thermonuclear fusion power. Tomacs were invented in the 1950s by Soviet physicists Igor Tom and Andrei Sakharov inspired by an original idea of Oleg Lavrentiev. Magnetic fields are used for confinement since no solid material could withstand the extremely high temperature of the plasma. An alternative to the Tomac is the Stellarator. A Tomac is a type of machine that uses a magnetic field to confine a plasma in the shape of a torus. Achieving a stable plasma equilibrium requires magnetic field lines that move around the torus in a helical shape. Such a helical field can be generated by adding a toroidal field traveling around the torus in circles and a polodial field traveling in circles orthogonal to the toroidal field. In a Tomac, the toroidal field is produced by electromagnets that surround the torus, and the polodial field is the result of the toroidal electrical current that flows inside the plasma. This current is induced inside the plasma with a second set of electromagnets. In an operating fusion reactor, part of the energy generated will serve to maintain the plasma temperature as fresh deuterium and tritium are introduced. However, in the startup of a reactor, either initially or after temporary shutdown, the plasma will have to be heated to its operating temperature of greater than 10 keV, over 100 million degrees Celsius. In current Tomac and other magnetic fusion experiments, insufficient fusion energy is produced to maintain the plasma temperature. Additionally, problems with plasma containment with structural materials have been experienced requiring development of superconductors for more efficient containment. If the administration really wanted to solve the energy situation, they should invest in developing fusion technology, which is clean and has practically unlimited availability. Apparently, Big Oil, the Golden Rule Boys, and the money behind the scenes own them, so they play sleight-of-hand tricks to keep the masses confused.